consent to your future is your prayer it can go and wait for you your prayer can become your protocol it waits for you at the gates of your tomorrow it checks that tomorrow is ready for you and it if if it finds anything your tomorrow that can sabotage the name of god in your life it can she would never marry marriageable but no strategy if the walls of jericho the people carried their sword and tried to bring down that gate they would have slaughtered them like chickens just the arrows from the watchmen would kill them and destroy them it takes strategies to win you have dreams where is the strategy when i meet pastors they tell me their message but they don't tell me the strategy god said go and raise me a people where do you think these people are and how are you going to fulfill that mandate a friend called me and he said um i should advise him is it right wonderful friend that i love he said is it right for him to continue raising offering in church i said well I don't have a problem with it but go and find out how god designed the finances of your ministry to run go and pray and receive a strategy do you know the challenge with the body of christ we copy everything without thinking about it we copy if i start rolling this um, um, what do you call it my trouser now here i do it for two weeks as foolish as it is of course i know it's because you love me and you believe in the word of the lord upon me you will be surprised how somebody will go for lecture with trouser road like that he will never ask and say sorry is it an instruction that is followable or is a unique dealing or you, you are your leg is just paining you and you think you are doing this we copy everything and sometimes to our detriment are we blessed i want you to get results You have to be at a lot. You have to be focused. You have to be discerning. One of the ways that we engage these kinds of tongues is to write down all the issues of concern and pray while you look at it. There is a relationship between your eyes and the realm of the spirit. This eye is not just for looking. You can write these things. House rent. God, what is the way out? Are we together now? ministry is not growing i'm trusting you for the healing anointing i've read everything i know what is the way out you are walking around and you just allow the holy spirit pray through you all of a sudden you will just get an idea go down to zaria see apostle let him lay hands on you you see you think that that thing just came there is no other man of god you will meet no matter how anointed that will impart that healing anointing because the instruction is already tied to a vessel sometimes it may not even be to see a man of god there are graces when i wanted god led me to specific people and places i remember i've shared some of them with you we just do things at random no divine direction hallelujah I will never forget one day I was asking God a very serious question about ministry and all of a sudden literally as if as if a force came my hands were shaking and before you knew it I still don't know the name that I typed a YouTube video enter and all of a sudden one old old gray Baba just appears like this with one 25 minutes message and I listened to it that message changed my life I searched for other videos the, the message did not even finish but it contained my answer hallelujah are you blessed you have to learn this if you must rise there are two ways to rise in life hustle if you want to keep moving around and knocking or go to God and say my God show me the way show me the way god can help men oh koinonia hear me my god can help men this trial and error we are doing with our lives is too much sometimes the injury that will come from trying may not allow you to try another day again so the key is to be circumspect 
access the deep things of God. If you're naming tonight's message, then it's, it's titled Accessing the Deep Things of God. I'm giving you a secret. This is what I do with my life. Lord, I thank you. Sometimes a scripture is coming. Sometimes the voice of God comes for you. Sometimes a mystery comes. Sometimes an instruction comes. You see that? God can give you all kinds of foolish instructions. Let me tell you. Do you know there was a day? I do this every once in a while, but there was a day God instructed me. I was just lying down. I, I wasn't asleep and I was praying. And all of a sudden, I just sensed the anointing. And all of a sudden, the Spirit of God told me, stand up and lie down flat on the ground. Like, get up from your bed oh, and lie. Imagine if somebody opened my door. He said, this is it. I've, I've, I've always known that this guy, there is something occultic he's doing. And you would think as I lie down, I will feel one ghost. I saw nothing. I had nothing. I lay down like that for about maybe 20 minutes. Honestly speaking, I even started sleeping small. And later the voice just came, go to bed, go and sleep. The next meeting that we went, I can't remember where, I saw a dimension of the grace of God that I couldn't understand. I said, what happened? And God told me, while you were lying down, your, something was happening to you. You don't have to feel it, you believe it. God is not a fool. This is how some of you can be there. Lord, who is going to be my helper? And God says, come out in front of your house and just stand for 15 minutes. The natural man. Lord, what? I'm, I'm educated. And you stand there. 10 minutes. Somebody passes and says, ah, promise, are you all right? You say, ah, I'm fine. Of course, you can't tell them it's God that's making you a fool like that. And all of a sudden, sometimes the 15 minutes will even finish and nothing will happen. And you just feel disappointed and you go back and say god this is what you did god is watching your aptness to obeying him one day you will be sleeping in the night and by 2 a.m god will say call pastor alpha just call and tell him what is the message ah god how do i call a married man by 2 a.m god will say do it immediately you call he said i was just about to call you here is the message for you the place is uyo not lagos that's all I saw in my dream. Look, believers, you need to be dynamic. When you are just straightforward and religious, there is no breakthrough. The operations of the spirit is like the wind. You can't tell where it's coming or where it's going. So is one who is led of the spirit. There are people here who came from Lagos because they were praying, Lord, what do I do with my life? And God says, stand up, come to Zaria. They can't tell you exactly why they are here. That's why when you ask them those questions, it's difficult for them to answer. They don't want to look like they are stupid. Sometimes they themselves think they are stupid. But keep watching God. There is a mystery walking out. Then you will see the glory and the beauty. Why will God tell you to leave Lagos? This gentleman left Ghana and came. Help that lady. I said Lagos and truly, truly, she fell under the anointing. Praise God someone gets up and is enjoying oil money in portacourt and god says stand up and go and do two weeks in zamfara another person can be living where there is an oil well and be dying whereas his money is in sokoto as dry and harsh as the weather is your prosperity is where the voice of god is for you not a greener pastures is not a location greener pastures is a realm where the voice of the spirit directs you there are people any other place you go you will not prosper you will prosper in zaria someone will come in zaria and be wondering what is in this place the only thing i saw was just a few shops here but a direction for you every lifting in this ministry and every greatness god has brought happen right here because we could access these mysteries are you ready to pray we are going to pray sit down you are not going to stand up sit down listen you are just going to play these instruments for me just lightly and then I just want you to pray don't shout and mm -mm, just take out time you just pray in the spirit right take out time and pray in the spirit and you will be surprised to be sensitive 
to what God will be doing. For some as you are praying, what you'll be receiving is impartation. Some as you are praying, you will not even know what is happening to you. Not every information must be communicated in words. Some truths are imparted. Just do what I'm telling you to do. Don't worry about those shouting. Pray in the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Everywhere, inside, outside, you just pray. show us the secrets of our life oh god show us the way out let it come from heaven some of you are receiving things just because your mind is not understanding it you watch and see what happens to you a few days from now what you have received will start being revealed to you and you will see that this is what happened in koinonia oh 